a super quick let's draw for today. I was just playing around with my Photoshop brush settings and I realized that there's three major tips that I reckon everyone needs to know, especially if you're like a beginner and you're just starting out or maybe you've just bought your brand new Wacom tablet and you want to know how to get a more natural feel out of your tablet so that you can make better art and just be happy. So here are the three tips, let's get into it. How do I blend colors? Okay, first of all, I need you to know what opacity is. So right now we've set it here to 60%, which means that if I select a red color, it's not gonna paint it that full bright red, it's gonna paint it at 60% the transparency of that red. So like this. Okay, so let's put a bunch of that down. There we go. Nice and red. And you can already see how it's starting to blend with the white on the edges. See, around these lighter areas. But we can take it a step further. So let's say we have a bright blue and we wanna paint that here. And it's not fading in with the red, right? What we do is lay it down and then we can use the color picker tool to select this little new color that's been mixed between the red and the blue. Now that we pick that, we can paint that down and then again, repeat that process and pick now this new color between the red and the purple. And then go back to your brush and keep painting. And you can see how there's a gradual fade happening there. Now this process is really annoying over the long term. So if you're doing a really complex piece, you don't want to have to keep going back to the eye picker and back to the brush and vice versa. So what you need to know is the shortcut. So if you push Alt on your keyboard, it automatically turns the brush into the eye picker. But we can make this even faster. So what you need to do is set your eye picker tool or the Alt key to a hotkey on your tablet somewhere or on the pen itself. So at first I set it to this button right here um, until I started getting cramps in my index finger from doing this all the time. So maybe don't do that. And it also wore out the button so much that it actually fell out of the pen. Um, so I would actually recommend assigning it to one of these buttons right here on the side. Um, it's worked out so far. Make it feel better. So you've just moved from a mouse to a tablet, so you're probably thinking, this already feels amazing, but it can get better, trust me. What you have to do is go to the brush panel, and once you're in there, you've got to click Shape Dynamics, and then select Pen Pressure from the dropdown. So what this does is, when I draw a line and I press really lightly, it only creates a really thin line. And then if I press lightly and then I press harder and harder and harder, see how it becomes thicker? And eventually to the entire radius or diameter of that brush that you've selected. So you can get some really nice flowing lines and see at the edges, they kind of taper like a real brush. Just to compare when that setting is turned off. It doesn't matter how hard or how light I press, the width of the brush stroke is always uniform. So this really helps simulate the feeling of a paintbrush where let's say if you had like this really thick bulge of hairs at the bottom of your paintbrush, as you push deeper into the canvas, a bigger splodge would appear, right? So it just feels great. Final tip for the day that's gonna make your digital painting experience super amazing. You have to go to the brush menu again and select transfer and make sure that it's set to pen pressure so what this does is it sets the pen pressure, the pen, it sets the pen pressure to the opacity of your brush. So you see here I am drawing really lightly, not pushing too hard, but then as I push harder, it gets darker and darker until finally it hits that 100% opacity. Now if I set that to 53%, for example, I go light, 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 and then when I push the hardest at my highest pressure point, it's never going to go past 53%. So yeah, up to you how you want to set that. Um, but yeah, you can see how combining that with shape dynamics, you can get some really amazing brush strokes. Look at how natural they look. They look really wet and inky. 
um, just beautiful and great for painting. So if I turn off those two settings compared with our normal brush, see, it's a huge difference there and you're gonna definitely feel it when you try it with your tablet. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap it up now. A super quick video for today. Those are the three Photoshop brush tips for Wacom tablet beginners. So number one, tie the color picker shortcut, which is the alt key, to a physical key on your Wacom tablet or on your Wacom pen. Number two, utilize shape dynamics to get a nice variable width brush stroke. And number three, use transfer to tie the pressure of the pen to the opacity of the brush in Photoshop. And with all those three, three things, and with all those three things combined, you're gonna have a really great digital painting experience. If you like this video, you learned something, please like it, comment, and of course, subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. See you guys. Thank you.